In this video, I wanted to review one of my favorite clean beauty brands, Rowan. I'm going to be testing out their shadow so you guys can see it. I've worn them so many times and I absolutely love them. Um, they're a clean beauty brand, like I mentioned. They have the Clean at Sephora stamp and they also sell on their own website. All their shadows are really glittery and sparkly. So if you like a more matte look, they don't really have that. So it's not going to be your cup of tea. But I really like the branding and the concept behind them. I have four of their products, the 52 eyeshadow palette, Disco, the Val Brow, which is their brow pencil, and their everything eyeshadow brush. It has a thicker side and a thinner side. It's very fuss free, you just use your fingers and you blend it and you get amazing results. I also tried to date this Surfer Curl, it's a tart lash. Yeah, I'm gonna show you right now how I wear this stuff. So to start, I wanna go in with the palette. It's a very everyday color, but if you don't like to be super shimmery, then it might not be. But I have their eye brush. It's really good for blending, and then the other side is super fine, so it's really good for detailing. I really like this brown shade in the bottom. The names are so funny. You have Basque, Rin Rendeveros. I can't even pronounce that word. Yep, it's this brown shade right here and then meow is their gunmetal shade right here i use this on my new year's eve tutorial and i'm gonna go with the brown it's really creamy but it feels dry like it doesn't feel really wet it's like a dry powder creamy kind of hybrid so that just has like a very everyday wearable color I think it has a mix of silver and gold. So and for blending, I like to blend it with the brush. And I just define the shape. And for the bottom part, I'm going to use it inside. I don't think it's too cool tone or too warm. It's really just perfectly on the middle. It's a pretty flattering everyday shade. I really wish they would sell this separate because I would probably just buy that one. I really like the other ones, but I feel like they're more of a statement look. If you wanted to, you could just use the Disco. They have a summer disco. Um, that one is a little bit more warm. This one is very neutral. I don't have the other one, but I gravitated towards this one better. It's like a tiny little mirror in there. If you really wanted to add more sparkle, you could. I'm not sure if that's picking up on camera. I really like that one as a topper. That one really goes well with whatever eyeshadow you have underneath. I'm gonna do my brows with the Val Brow. I'm just gonna get my bangs out of the way. Let me get closer so you can see. I'm gonna start by doing some hair strokes around there. And you can blend it in with the spoolie. So that is my brow, how it looks pretty much filled in. My approach to makeup is just less is more and enhance your natural beauty. I like more wearable makeup, more attainable makeup. Okay, so this is how the brows look. I us they're usually kind of covered by my bangs anyway, but if you're looking for a clean beauty brow pencil, this one's a really good one and I do recommend it. I use this every single day. This is not Rowan Beauty, but since we, since I'm gonna put some mascara, I decided to try the Tarte Surfer Curl. This one's kind of new, I think. It's supposed to give you a curl and volume. It's also clean at Sephora. So the lashes look okay. They don't look extra thick or anything. 
I need to find a good volumizing mascara that's clean. And I'm trying on the Bite Beauty Foundation. This is a review that should have already gone out by now. Something else that's really cool about the brand is that their shimmers and sparkles are sustainable. They are not just that plastic glitter. Most of my collection is kind of clean based or better brands that are better for your skin so that's what i'm going to be reviewing most of anyway so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you liked it and um if you want to keep seeing more clean beauty brands or just like brands that are cruelty free or better for you brands then follow my journey and um, i'll see you guys on the next one